your ministerial position means nothing if it does not put food on the table of the poor man if it does not create policies that advance good and improve society if at the end of your eight years of being a senator all you came out of the chamber which was a title you never existed you were a dead man and so today if we count senators we should stop counting titles but count their impact in society do you see why the world system considers the church almost to be a nuisance because as far as they are concerned we are just singing some hymns and praises and shouting up and down they can't see our impact in the society and so a generation must rise that have the power to create changes physical and existential changes in society that when you hear of a policy that resulted in advancement in society they will trace it to a man that bears the name of the lord a generation must rise that has power to create possibilities that advances and improves society christianity is not just about singing hymns and praying christianity is about affecting and transforming a civilization jesus was speaking and he didn't say you are the light of heaven the holy ghost is the light of heaven he said you are the light of the world a city set upon the he that cannot be here so our signature must also reflect in our societies when they say a governor created a system that improved the economy let that governor's name also be nathaniel let it be peter let it be james let it be john and so when they ask him how did this happen he will say the bible said when a righteous man rule the people rejoice and then you can say that christianity too is relevant but today our senators are interested in going to dubai because they were not taught kingdom perspective as touching influence they think influence is about a title i am senator and so what i am minister and so what where are the lives you are transforming it's only psychophants that can ring round around you and celebrate you those who know the relevance and the significance of things when they look at you they will abhor your existence because you don't know the purpose of the mantle you carry your senatorial position means nothing your ministerial position means nothing if it does not put food on the table of the poor man if it does not create policies that advance good and improve society if at the end of your eight years of being a senator all you came out of the chamber with was a title you never existed you were a dead man walking the ability to transform society is what influence is about and the reason the grace of god lifts men is not so that they have position that they brag about the reason the grace of god lifts men is so that they can handle mantles enter positions that gives them authority to change society and so today if we count senators we should stop counting titles but count their impact in society every man must show his imprint in society and it's not just senators it's also christians it's also pastors it's it's also apostles and it's also prophet you have been in this city for 20 years where is the road you have done at least there should be one street that it is said that you created this road so that people can pass it's not just for everybody buying to you and calling you bishop or prophet no that's not what christianity is society must feel the impact of your presence what is the community development that is traced to you because you are there 200,000, 300,000, 500,000 people are coming to church, but we can't see jobs. We can't see orphanages that are impacted. We can't see roads that are improved. We can't see electricity improved. Then why are you there? What does it mean to be the light of the world? It's not only to preach Christ. It's also to influence society. By the time we take our position in improving society, you will see that society will have no choice but to respect our Jesus, to respect our belief system. And they will know that we shape economy, we shape civilization. Today, I can tell you, many nations of the world have their ideologies built on the laws of Moses. That's how it started. Christianity came to shape society. The Lord told Moses, he said, teach them laws teach them ordinances teach them precepts teach them things that can shape society so that they are not irrelevant where they are today a governor who is a thief can come to a church and we are just happy 
because he has title of governor. Whereas he's bringing reproach to the name of God. What is the big deal about you being governor if we cannot see the impact in society? We must stop celebrating criminals. And when we stand on the altar, we tell them, go back and improve the economy of your society. Go back and pay people their salaries. Go back and improve the road. Improve electricity. That's why we are their prophets. We are not their prophets to take seed from them. We are their prophets to teach them the ordinances of God. So that at the end of the day, their existence will count when the, the, the stories of men are told. And if they get to heaven, they will thank us for telling them the